For many, losing a mother figure in life is the most heartbreaking moment in their life. Sadly, Kat had to go through that traumatizing event when her mother disappeared while she was young. One day, Kat returns home and finds her father, Brock, lamenting about his wife's disappearance. Upon hearing that her mother, Eve, is gone, Kat doesn't believe it and tells her father not to worry. Kat thinks that her mother might be coming home late from her shopping trip or something. At night, Kat talks about her mother to her boyfriend, Phil. Phil expresses his concern, but Kat takes it easy as if it doesn't affect her at all. Meanwhile, Brock seems to be the only person affected by Eve's sudden disappearance. Kat asks her father if they should inform the police about this. Brock hesitated initially, saying Eve wouldn't want neighbors to know about their family problems. However, he then tells Kat they will go to the police station if Eve doesn't return by tomorrow morning. That night, Kat has a strange dream. She sees herself in the middle of a blizzard and her mother lying on the ground, covered with snow. When Kat wakes up, she reminisces about her childhood memories with her mother. But then, her mother became indifferent ever since she hit puberty. In another flashback, Kat remembers how her mother seems annoyed by Kat's relationship with Phil. After that, Eve also expressed that she doesn't love his husband at all. Upon hearing what Eve said, Kat is infuriated by her mother's behavior. She warned her mother not to meddle with her personal life or involve her in Eve's problems. Back to the present, Kat and Brock decide to report Eve's disappearance to the authorities. A detective named Theo asks the two if Eve ever left a message for them. They explain that Eve doesn't pack any of her belongings and leaves her car in the garage. Since the detective can't find any lead on Eve's whereabouts yet, he recommends the two announce Eve's disappearance to their relatives first. When Kat sees her father's sadness, she remembers how her mother mentions that she doesn't love Brock. Kat imagines that her parents' relationship wasn't as bad as it is now. Because when they were younger, Brock and Eve used to live happily. However, the monotonous life as a housewife soon took its toll on Eve. While many women were chasing after Brock, his wife greatly despised him. Even though Kat was a child then, she understood her parents' marriage predicament and had to live with it. Days after Eve's disappearance, Brock asks Kate to talk with a counselor named Dr. Toller about her feelings. Kat tells the counselor that she had a weird dream about being in a blizzard and seeing her mother's figure in it. Kat states that similar dreams have happened since her mother's departure. Toller explains that Kat's dreams might be an embodiment of her trauma which is normal to happen. Afterward, Kat also talks about her feelings to Phil. Since Phil also has a similar experience of his father leaving him, he tries to relate to Kat's feelings and console her. After Phil leaves, Kat meets with her friends, Beth and Mickey. Kat expresses her repressed desire by saying it's been a while since she and Phil wrestled on the bed. Hearing that, Kat's friends joke about doing it with Detective Theo instead. Kat dismisses it and says Detective Theo is too old for her taste. Despite not wrestling with Phil for a while now, Kat and Phil's relationship is still on good terms. In a flashback, she remembers when Phil and her mother moved into a house next door. Kat used to despise Phil and think of him as a simpleton. But on one summer night, Kat and Phil's relationship changed drastically. After that encounter, the two began their relationship as lovers. However, Kat's mother learned about their relationship and began to meddle with Kat's personal life. In Kat's next session with the counselor, Toller asks Kat why Eve married Brock if she doesn't love him in the first place. Kat explains that maybe her mother didn't have much choice other than settling down with Phil when she was young. Kat then guesses that her mother's life soon becomes miserable and bleak as time passes, so that is why she decides to leave them. Kat also mentions that a week before her mother disappeared, she noticed Eve begin wearing provocative outfits. There was one moment when Kat and Phil were fooling around. Eve caught them while showing some of her skin in front of Phil and Kat. The counselor expresses her concern about Kat's story. Toller says that maybe Eve intentionally showed off herself to them at that time. However, Kat dismisses Toller's comment by saying that her mother needs attention since she is old and bored. In a flashback, Phil once visited Kat's backyard while looking for his cat. He unintentionally met Eve that day and asked if she saw his cat. However, Eve's response was a bit weird, as if she was trying to flirt with Phil. Eventually, Eve invited Phil to dinner at her house, and Phil accepted her invitation. Back to the present, Kat contacts Detective Theo to inform him about some new information regarding her mother. Later at night, Kat goes to Detective Theo's apartment to meet him. Upon arriving at the apartment, Theo asks her to sit down while Kat unveils her provocative outfit. When the detective asks about Kat's new information, Kat tells him that Eve was having an affair prior to her disappearance. After talking about Eve briefly, the situation becomes heated with steamy thoughts. Theo confronts Kat by mentioning Kat's real intention of going to Theo's place. Since Phil never touches Kat anymore, she becomes lonely and decides to approach Theo instead. But before getting down to business, Theo asks for Kat's consent. After she expresses her consent consciously, the two start their wrestling match. After that, the two spend their time talking and getting to know each other. The next day, Kat boasts about her experience with the detective to Beth. Kat expresses how satisfied she is and how Theo tastes better than Phil. When they arrive at Kat's home, they hear a voicemail saying that Brock has passed a lie detector test. 
Because of this, the two think that the police suspect Brock's involvement in the case. When Brock returns home, Kat asks her father about the voicemail from the police. However, Brock seemingly avoids Kat's question regarding that voicemail. Kat asks her father to explain it, but Brock tells her that it is just a standard procedure for the investigation. In another session with Toller, Kat tells the counselor that Eve once went to Kat's room and asked her whether Phil tasted good or not. Kat ignored her mother's question, causing Eve to lash out at Kat. Eve expressed her anger at Kat for sleeping with Phil. She also expressed her disappointment with her own daughter for doing such an immoral act on her back. Because of that, Kat's relationship with her mother becomes worse. When Toller asks why Eve did that to her daughter, Kat casually states that it is just how her mother was. Kat thinks Eve is lonely at that time, and she vents it on Kat. Kat then recounts a moment when Eve used to stare at her daughter as if Kat stole something away from her. Kat felt discomfort at that time, hearing how her mother kept saying that she used to look like Kat when she was young. Furthermore, Kat also recounts another bizarre act that her mother did prior to her disappearance. At that time, Kat and Phil were chilling in the basement. Suddenly, Eve showed up wearing a seductive dress. Eve openly tried to get Phil's attention in front of Kat, causing Kat to rant at her mom. When Brock came home, he was shocked to see his wife's behavior. The two began fighting after Eve said she couldn't stand living with Brock anymore. Even when Brock tried to de-escalate the situation, Eve's craziness was getting out of hand. Eventually, everything ended with Eve's sudden disappearance a week after that. Three years after that, Kat is now in college and lives her life independently. When Kat tells her life story to her roommate, Cindy, Kat says she doesn't even care about her mother anymore. On the other side, Kat had also broken up with Phil and is now in a relationship with a man named Oliver. Since her mother disappeared, Kat's behavior has become more uncontrollable. When she smokes in front of her new boyfriend, Oliver asks her to stop smoking for her health. Unfortunately, Kat doesn't like someone controlling her life, so she becomes angry and leaves Oliver. A week later, Kat returns to her hometown for a semester break. Upon arriving at the airport, Brock immediately shows up to pick up her daughter. On the way home, Brock informs his daughter that he has been seeing someone. Brock is afraid that the news will anger Kat. However, Kat assures her father that it doesn't bother her if he finds a new partner after years of Eve's disappearance. During her free time, Kat visits her friends and Detective Theo. After that, she also visits Dr. Toller to inform her that she is now feeling much better. When Toller asks about Eve, Kat tells her that it doesn't bother her anymore that Eve is gone. Moreover, her father has also moved on, so she doesn't have to think about it anymore. The following day, Kat decides to visit her ex-boyfriend. Upon arriving at Phil's workplace, they have a conversation about each other's life. When Kat asks Phil for a cigarette, he only comments a little and then hands a cigarette to Kat. Afterward, Kat invites Phil to hang out while she is still in town. Phil accepts Kat's invitation, but something is still bothering him. Phil tells Kat that she doesn't have to see him because they are nothing more than acquaintances now. Even so, Kat insists that she had to see Phil for old time's sake. In the evening, Kat meets up with Brock and his new girlfriend, May. Through this dinner, Brock wants to ensure that Kat agrees to his father's new relationship. Kat tells her father that she is very supportive of Brock and May's relationship and that he doesn't have to worry. Furthermore, Kat asks her father to stop thinking about Eve because she decided to abandon them. At night, Kat dreams of meeting her mother. In the dream, Eve tries to tell Kat about something through an ominous message. When Kat wakes up, she tells Theo about her dream. After that, Theo finally tells Kat about his team's thorough investigation of Eve's case. Theo says that it had been two years of investigation, but not a single trace of Eve had been found. Therefore, Theo speculates that Eve is dead instead of running away. Theo then shares that the assumption of Eve's affair is valid, leading to her disappearance. In addition, Theo and his team also investigated Brock's background and found that Brock was a volatile and jealous person. Theo tells Kat that her parents' old neighbor testified about Brock's actions when he accused Eve of having an affair with another neighbor. Hearing all that, Kat doesn't believe Detective Theo's investigative theory. Therefore, Kat asks why Theo didn't arrest Brock if her father did something terrible to her mother. Upon hearing Kat's question, Theo replies that they don't have solid evidence to arrest Brock. Theo then explains his assumptions that Brock had caught Eve's affair and spiraled out of control. However, Kat is still unconvinced, so she asks where Brock would hide his mother's body if Theo's assumption is true. Unfortunately, Theo can't answer that because it is a mystery he is yet to solve. Kat is annoyed with Detective Theo's story, so she decides to go home. On the way home, Kat remembers how Eve seemed very close to Phil. Therefore, Kat decides to visit Phil's house to ask him some questions. However, Phil's mother says that her son is not home yet. Because of that, Kat decides to ask Phil another time. The next day, Kat tells her friends about Detective Theo's theory. After hearing that, her two friends also express their suspicion toward Brock, but they cannot prove it. After that, Kat and her friends intend to chill their champagne in Kat's basement refrigerator. However, they can't open the freezer because a strange lock is attached to it. Suddenly, Brock comes up to them and asks Kat's friends to leave his house. 
Kat refuses her father's order, but Brock insists on kicking them out. After Kat's friends leave, Kat sees Phil arrive at his home. The two talk briefly about their past relationship and how everything has changed since Kat's mother disappeared. Kat asks Phil to tell her what he knows about Eve's disappearance. Phil insists that he doesn't know anything about it. However, when Kat asks if there is something between Phil and Eve, Phil's expression suddenly changes. Kat begs Phil to tell the truth, but Phil still can't say anything. Before Phil enters his house, he tells Kat that only Brock knows where Eve is. Upon hearing Phil's words, Kat is convinced that Detective Theo's theory is true. Before Kat goes to sleep, she sees her father sleeping with liquor in his hand. That night, Kat dreams about her mother buried in the snow. When Kat wakes up, she decides to check the refrigerator in her basement. As soon as Kat opens the fridge, she quickly unloads everything inside. Before Kat finds what she is looking for, Brock suddenly appears. Kat asks if her dad knows where Eve is because Phil says Brock knows the truth. However, Brock tells her that Phil is talking nonsense and he doesn't know where Eve is. After Brock asks Kat to clean up the refrigerator mess, Kat cries out loud because she genuinely misses her mother. Later that day, Brock drives Kat to the airport as she is about to return to continue her studies. Before boarding the plane, Kat says goodbye to her father. After that, Kat reveals that it was the last time she saw her father. A few weeks after that, Brock confesses his crime of taking Eve's life when he is drunk at a bar. The police immediately arrest Brock, but he ends his own life in prison. Before Brock's death, he admits that he removed Eve's body from the refrigerator while Kat was asleep. Since Brock froze it for too long, Eve's body melted away when Brock was about to bury her in a mountain. Ultimately, the truth about this incident has blown everyone's mind. In a flashback, Eve returned home and found that Brock was wrestling with Phil on the bed. Because Eve learned about Brock's affair with her daughter's boyfriend, Brock decided to end Eve's life and acted as if she had disappeared. After learning the truth, Kat feels sorry for her mother. She finally admits that she needs and misses the mother she truly loves. What do you think of this story? Write your comments below. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.